Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. It's probably gonna take me two or three weeks or possibly a month to get used to saying the 24, not 23. Back in the day when you would hand write checks out, which is really kind of a thing of the past. I don't really write too many checks anymore. But you would always put in the date and it would take you four, five, six weeks to really kind of get acclimated to the new year. And because I state the date at the beginning of each of these, I have an issue with that as well. But 2024 is off to a good start. Into late last year, announced that I purchased a homestead here in Celebration, Florida. And you can, might be able to get a little teaser of what I'm about to show. That's probably going to end up in the thumbnail also. But in the reflection of my glasses is another thing that I purchased yesterday. It was delivered. Purchased it a couple days ago. It was delivered yesterday afternoon. I'm pretty dang excited about this. When you are living in the celebration bubble, what better way to do so when you have a garage than to drive one of these around town? This is a bucket list achieved. I have purchased this. A glorified golf cart, if you will. A Jim E2 two-seater. Oh yes, and I am gonna cruise this bad boy to downtown. Gonna get some Starbucks. Go down some little areas that I've never been here in celebration. Enjoy the day. Showcase exactly what the heck this thing is. I took it out yesterday for a brief while, just around the block, but have not gone and traversed too far with everything I do, well, at least what I put on film. I'm inviting you to join me. I am so freaking stoked. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a, it's just, I don't know. It's awesome. Join me. Let's go on a ride. Shall you? I'll give a little bit of a tour of what it is like. Now, Celebration uh, has some interesting rules. There's a lot of HOA rules. There's a lot of strictness when it comes to certain things. And one of them is you cannot leave the general vicinity of your neighborhood unless you have a tag on your vehicle. And that includes golf carts, unless you're a golfer and you're just on the golf course. But you cannot drive a golf cart around town unless it is taggable. And most golf carts do not have VIN numbers on them. Now you can modify them to have one on, but I just went with the, went all out and just went with one that already had one on. It's a 2023, so it is a last year model. I don't know if the 04 or the 24s are out yet, but it's the Jim E2. You can see it has some legit tires there. It has the lights in the front. You can drive this thing at night. It also has windshield wiper, side mirrors, Plenty of open air. There's a lot of room in this thing. I am six foot three and there's a lot of room. Headroom. Now they do have models that have completely a complete sunroof. I opted out of that because I just I figured during the summer I'm not gonna want the sun beating down on me. And pretty much unless it is raining or the, or the weather is inclement, everything I'm gonna be doing in celebration is gonna be on this. So this is gonna be utilized a lot over the next year in the vlogs. And then after that, I'll be kind of cruising around on it as well. But I have this for lifetime, more or less. The batteries, it runs on three, maybe four batteries around the back. You can kind of see them around the back there. The salesperson said that it's gonna take probably three to five years. Let's say three, worst case scenario. I might have to get some new batteries. They're a couple hundred dollars each, $300 each, I believe. Other than that, don't need fuel. You plug it in, so basically when I get home in the garage, it's plugged in right there. You open that up and there's a little plug in inside there. And that's what charges it up. So it plugs into a regular standard plug in in the garage. So each night when I get home with it, supposedly gets about 25 miles, according to the salesman, on one charge. Then I'm not gonna be leaving town in it, so yeah. I am, I am happy about getting this thing. This is just like, it's just so freaking cool. I wanted to run up to Publix, grab some snacks, 
go downtown, get some items, you know, farmer's market, anything like that, any of the shops. I could put it right back here. Got a couple keys for the vehicle itself, but also a couple keys, not only for that, lock that down, which probably won't even need to lock it. I also have a key, it's the same key that goes in there. Got my wallet in there now. Also got lights, it has a speedometer. It has the brake right here. It has seat belts, steering wheel, windshield wiper, rear view mirror with a reverse camera. <laughs> reverse camera on that thing. They also have a four seater and I really was tempted to get the four seater. The reason I went with the two is just more room in the garage and more times than not, it's gonna be me and probably a friend in this or by myself in this more than a group of people. Now sometimes, you know, if I have a couple people staying over or they're, they're visiting, might make it difficult to get everyone in here because you can only get two people and there's probably unless someone gets on the floor, which probably isn't gonna happen or sits in the back in the storage area. So I went with the two, mostly for room sake in the garage. And I just feel like the four almost felt more like just a complete car where this kind of has a little bit of a, a, a golf cart vibe to it. So I kind of like that, the glorified golf cart vibe. All right, let's get driving. I've been talking too much. Now there is no gear shift. All there is is a button that goes forward, reverse, and neutral. I have it in forward. It is currently on, it's not making any noise because you have to deactivate the brake to get it to make noise. Now you can see I've already used one of the bars there. And if, yeah, if I'm reading this correctly, it only has 11 miles on it. It's a fresh one. And take a look at this. This is a USB port right here. So you can charge your phone up right there as well. Now they also had other ones that were considerably more expensive that had a stereo. I don't really need a stereo. If I wanted to, I could always install one later. So you put that down, it starts making the noise. You can hear the electric engine going. I also have cup holders. I currently at the moment have my phone right there. I got my glasses, I put it in there. And we're off. <laughs> now I'm gonna probably have to rig up some sort of a camera mount. I could do like a GoPro sticky mount, but I don't really like having multiple footage to dump in and I like to have everything on, on one camera. So basically now I just have it on the dashboard. It gets up to 25 miles an hour. Also realize I'm talking pretty loud. So probably I'm so used to being in a car and talking. Oh, I should put my seatbelt on. And that's what's curious. This is a road worthy vehicle. So this car, well this cart is street legal. You can take it on streets. Not supposed to take it. I think Celebration's rules are you can't take it on a road that's 40 miles or, or 40 miles an hour or over. So there's one street in town, only one street in the entire town I can't take this on. But there's like a hundred other streets that I can take it on. So I'm gonna have to figure, you know, work around some of the other some of the other roads. You have, to obey the, you have to obey the rules too. See what it's got. Doesn't go up to 88, but it doesn't go up to like 30. Which is kind of nice because most of the streets in Celebration are 25, 30 miles an hour. There's only the one that's 40 that I'm not supposed to go on anything over 40. So I have to worry about speeding because it won't go as fast as, or over the speed limit. All right, I'm at 23 right now, just zipping along. Gonna head uh, downtown, see how the parking situation is, which should be pretty simple to find a parking spot in this. In fact, I think there's even parking areas designated for the NEVs. I think this is technically an NEV, even though it's a GEM, a gym. Let's see when I get down here what the parking situation looks like back towards my old stomping grounds, even though I'm only a mile from where I was before. <laughs> this is the 
this is literally this is literally a life goal for me i mean i've ever since the first time i visited celebration or went to towns like that had little golf carts or neighborhoods that had golf carts i was like i want one of those wherever i end up living and purchasing a homestead i want to at least have a garage where i could have my personal vehicle in but then also a cart like this this little thing's working out pretty good being parked right there oh man first time rolling downtown in this sucker now this is not for the carts electric vehicle parking only these are for regular automobiles will this be a gateway to purchasing some sort of electric full-size vehicle i don't know i don't know how i feel about that but you never know i do like the fact that it'll cut out the fuel expense it's got a really good turn radius too so i'm over here in the celebration only parking area which for my car I have a decal for, but I don't know if I, I guess I probably got to go by the town hall and get a decal for this, even though, I mean, I don't think anyone would bring this in on a trailer. So they would know that if you're over in this area that you're probably a local resident. All right, I'm gonna pull over a mobile order here at the old Starbucks. All right, I have kind of wormed my way into the little tiny parking spot here that is appropriate electric vehicle parking only. Nailed it. It's even like a tiny little spot in comparison. There's a spot for one there. There's a spot for one here, which I shouldn't have any problem. You can see there's another resident down there that has one closer up in front of Starbucks. And I see people sometimes they just pull right over on the curb, run in and get their order. So that's an option too. But this right here is the completely, the, I guess the completely legal way to do it. Also, the town has been putting in new benches, new rocking chairs. So see, these are the new benches here and they are getting out with the old and with the new, it's pretty cool. I was seeing some stuff online. There's a couple different like resident portals and different, you know, message boards and sites and things of people that live here. They're always posting, you know, info and things. And a few days ago, they ended up putting some new rocking chairs over there. So I'm gonna go test out those rock, new rocking chairs too. Yeah, I'm right down there. So I feel like I'm in the cool club now. I feel like I'm part of the, I'm part of a, I'm a celebration. A homeowner and I have one of these things. I love the mobile ordering. I probably I get to the point where, I mean, obviously I'm filming, so I didn't start mobile ordering until I got down here, but I could probably mobile order from the homestead. By the time I get down here, it'll be ready. I can just drive up, pull up to the curb, run in, grab it, grab and go. Ah, love the Starbucks mobile order. I don't know why I didn't jump on that bandwagon sooner. Yeah, really nice. Got all the new, new rocking chairs out here, new tables, now new benches. Celebration, it's the place to be. It was interesting, I was trying to, so used to locking my car. So I was like reaching for my car keys to lock the car up, <laughs> but you don't do that with this. It's gonna take some getting used to. I spent enough time downtown. Let's go traverse around some of the other areas, the less trodden areas of town. Oh, check out the zebra Jeep over here. I'm kind of just circling around here. So here is the main square area. Well, the main circle. And then there's the clock over there. There's the postal drop off. Got Water Street here. Ah, oh, I love this thing. I kind of like that it doesn't have a stereo. You just you get just get the sights and the sounds of the morn. So many spots in town, even I have not discovered. All these neighborhoods through here are just amazing. I love the beverage holders. So this neighborhood over here, I never realized that there was beach vol sand volley volleyball courts over in here. Again, there's just so much I still need to learn about this town. Granted, it is, what's the mystery machine over there, by the way? It is into New Year's, but a lot of people haven't taken their Christmas decor down. This house was really, really done up for Halloween. I guess they left the Ferris wheel up for Christmas as well, which I might end up doing that at my place. Not put a Ferris wheel up, but some Halloween and Christmas decor later this year. One thing about being a homeowner is gonna be kind of nice to be able to do that kind of stuff. And obviously, I'll be able to, when the season approaches, I'll be able to do a tour around town on this, looking at all the Halloween lights and decor and the Christmas decor. It's a long way off, but yeah, I'll, have, I'll still have this. This area here is kind of fascinating. It's like tucked away 
kind of over near Highway 192, but it's like something out of like, like a compound, like out of Walking Dead or something. There's like a wall up. Like that's the end of the bubble celebration that is known. The nickname is the bubble because you're in your own world back here. So that's the end of the bubble and then going over into no man's land, Highway 192 over there. In fact, you can see the old town attractions. For example, there's a slingshot, Vomitron. You can see it from Celebration. And the Sky Coaster. Uh, look, someone's up going up there. Someone just got launched. I also have to wonder how much more development, if any, will happen in town. Now, Island Village is the new area that's popping up, and I've heard rumors that that was going to be the last development that was going to be built here in Celebration. But there is a lot of green space. There's a lot of it. So i got to wonder if over time some of the swampy areas here will be developed or if they're just going to utilize that, you know, keep that kind of just, just all green in some of these neighborhoods. But, hey, you never know. Money talks, right? I'm just fascinated. It really is incredible how when they built this town, how many different styles of architecture there is and how many parks there are. All the parks are slightly different than the other parks. You look at the date there, established 1994. Now this has no correlation. The street I'm about to turn on became a very, this, there was a song named after this street. Well, the street, not at all, it's not true. But it bears the name of a song that became a hit in 94. Longview Ave, Green Day. No correlation, but just thought it was fun. Look how cute these houses are. Freaking awesome through here. And it wouldn't be a proper Disney built town, even though Disney's not affiliated with it anymore. But Disney built it, early 90s. If it did not, it wouldn't be a Disney built place if it didn't have a berm. Here's the berm. The berm to the bubble. Yep. If it's Disney, it's gotta have a berm. A grassy hill. All right, it does top out at 25. Took it out on the road to get over here. The 30 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour was the top speed. So anything under 40, I can go on. But it does top out at 25 over here at the Water Tower Plaza. So if I wanted to cruise over here tomorrow and get some free crab, I can come over here to this crab shack and get some free crab on any tomorrow. It's a joke, but yeah. Even Chick-fil-A over here. I'd take this thing through the drive-thru? Probably not, but if I just want to cruise over to Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A is in, well, technically, I guess, in the area too. If I want to come over here and get groceries, load them in the back here at the Water Tower Shops, I can. There's a new Publix that opened on World Drive by the Mickey Power Pole. I can't take this thing over there, though, because it's on that 40-plus mile an hour road. The one road I can't go on. Yeah, I can traverse pretty much everywhere. Again, just that one road. You can pretty much get around town without going on that one road. You just can't go over to World Drive. So the Mickey D's and the Art Deco 7-Eleven. Even though the, I don't know how the sidewalk situation works, especially, I've noticed on 192, there's a lot of places that have golf cart communities, like over by Old Town. And I'm noticing the sidewalks are so wide that I see a lot of golf carts going down those widened sidewalks. I know this sidewalk you're not supposed to, but if the sidewalk is the size of a road, is that made? I have to do a little research over time, but probably not. Probably not. Look kids, Big Ben, Parliament. Fun fact, the preview center for Celebration when the town was first being constructed was right here in this parking lot. It was right there. I did a whole video on it I don't know, a year or two ago. They had trailers set up, then they had fake facades of what the buildings were going to look like. Now this place over here, I think it's a hotel, but it's also, you can purchase a home in here. And I have never driven over here before, but I think I'm going to drive over here today. But people, people live in here. It's right here on the outskirts. It's called Malia Orlando Suites Hotel. So it is a hotel, but when I was searching for a home, this would pop up occasionally. Uh, that you could buy you could buy a spot in here like a condo or a, something like that really great hospital here advent health also where i have my gym membership in fact the gym is right up there i've been contemplating building a home gym but i'm kind of leaning towards just keeping my membership here and just going and 
being around people and being motivated that way. So I don't know, I'm kind of leaning in that direction. With the hospital right over there, again, this is a little area I didn't even know existed. I believe it's behind the fire department and this church building has a massive parking lot, massive. A lot of land out here. There's, there actually is quite a bit of land undeveloped. More than I was thinking. Once you start kind of exploring, you start to realize that. There's the fire station right there. Osceola County Fire here in town. Going on my to-do list, I gotta get a library card here. I had one last year or the year before. I got one at the Orange County Library in Orlando, which is amazing. And to be honest, I have not been in the one here at Celebration, but uh, that's gonna change. I'm gonna get a library card and research some stuff and see what they got in here at some point. Not today. I'm just like pulling in the property to check it out. All right, put this one in the category of, I did not know this was back here. There behind the library is a gargantuan dog park. Very expansive dog park. Yesterday, my friend Micah came over. We ended up going to the car auction. But before that, I took him around the block. I didn't take him over to this area, but just in the, the few minutes that he was in, on the, in the passenger seat, he was saying, you know, celebration reminds him as well as me of kind of like a movie backlot, like Universal Hollywood. It's like, it's almost like you have your own golf cart and you're working on a production on a backlot. And this street especially kind of fits into that. Because it just reminds me so much of like Universal Hollywood, like Colonial Street. Be taking a lunch break from a production, hopping in the golf cart. <laughs> oh, it just has that vibe. Just go at your own pace through here. Give myself my own little personalized tour. In a weird way, it almost has a therapeutic quality to it. No music, just peacefulness. You got the the sound of the wheels turning. Just enjoying the day. The weather's nice right now. Summertime, it might be a little more brutal than it is. But I like the fact that it's open like this. So you get plenty of wind, yeah, you get plenty of breeze coming in here. Do this a couple times a week. Cruise up, get a coffee. Obviously, you gotta do a little more deep diving on celebration. Try to find out some facts, some figures, some info. Instead of getting in the car to go over to the spots, take this around so it'll kind of add something to the to the excitement of the commute around celebration. Also, my waving game is about to go on point. I've already waved more to people than I have today, probably in the last year. Because it just makes sense. You don't pat you can't pass anyone in this at a slow pace and not wave. So I feel like I'm gonna get to know the, the, the neighbors in the, in the entire town, at least from a waving perspective. Maybe, maybe not. And they wave back too, which is kind of neat. It's got that small town feel where you're just going around, everybody waves, everybody knows each other in their own little way. Cruise that back towards downtown. First, I, the sound was a little kind of weird to me to hear the sound like that, of the wheels turning and then like that electric motor. But I'm liking it, it's soothing. There's no gas smell either. You don't have that gas smell like you would have with a, an engine, like a regular engine. I know nothing about electric vehicles, so this is all this is completely new to me. And I've never had a golf cart or anything like this glorified golf cart, the Gym E2. I said I was gonna get a gym. This one's just spelled differently. Over here off Mulberry is Savannah Square, square based on Savannah, Georgia. Same one that Forrest Gump, same style that Forrest Gump sits in front of and says life is like a box of chocolates, which is true. You never know what you're gonna get. Life is like a box of chocolates. All right, according to that sign, the golf club here in town was established in 1996, two years. Okay, so I'm going up the side of the hill and he kind of goes down the hill. So you gotta put your foot back on the gas. Well, the, put your foot on the electric 
to go up the hill. It's got some power to it as well. The windmill restaurant. I've never eaten at the windmill restaurant. Not going to do it today, but maybe one day. So two years after the town was built is when the golf course opened, at least this section of it. Am I going to start playing golf one day? And can I take this on the golf course? Not on the course, but on the the pathways that everyone takes the, the golf carts on? I don't know. It'd be interesting. I don't know if that's allowed because this technically isn't a, go isn't a golf cart. Going down Water Street now with all the leaves changing. Well, leaves are probably already changed, but the leaves are falling. Water Street always reminds me of the Venice Canals, the Venice Beach Canals. It even has the same kind of bridge from Nightmare on Elm Street that Johnny Depp stands on and eats the, is he like a sandwich or a burger, hamburger or something. I think it was modeled after that. So each little neighborhood in town looks like a different area than the other neighborhoods. So some of them look the same, but there's most of them are vastly different than the one right next, the neighborhood right next to the other neighborhoods. And that doesn't make any sense, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. what's more appropriate a wave or a nod I think if someone's walking like people were just walking I did a little nodage I think if it's appropriate if someone's walking by if they don't wave first to just give them a little but if they're in, in a, a distance like if they're not right next to it you give a little wave they're on the other side over there you wave or if they're in a vehicle you wave I'm trying to get the whole vernacular correct I also like the fact that this has blinkers, and the blinkers are quiet. Oh yeah, get the hang of this. It only took like five minutes to get the hang of this. Handles handles like a champ, just like a just like a car. Except way smaller, you can fit in tighter spaces. I'm not going to have any trouble parking down here too because there's designated NEV parking. Whatever that means. The N NEV, I got to figure out what that stands for. It's neighborhood electric vehicle. That's it. Na neighborhood electric vehicle. Right there. Here's an NEV parking. Someone's parked in it. There's a NEV parking. Someone's parked in it. <laughs> okay, so people are not, they're not following the NEV rules. Of course, until now, I never realized it even existed. But there was a bunch of NEV parking back there that everyone just parked in. I like the ones in front of Starbucks, though, that had the NEV parking that was just small. Nevs. I wonder if Nev Campbell has one of these. She has an E at the end of hers, though. I heard it her name. I think. Maybe. It does have a horn, too. <laughs> Holy Lord, that's loud. That was way louder than I thought it was going to be. That's too loud. I'm not going to be... I need to get like one of those little ding, 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 like a bicycle would have. That was really loud. It's right here on the side of where the windshield wiper mechanism is. That was really loud. Oh, if I could get like a little uh, noise maker, I'm gonna customize this thing too. And I also have a name for this automobile. I have a name for it. You're gonna love it. Ooh, what the heck are these behind me? Look at those over there. What, they're, what are they riding through town on? I was hoping they were gonna pass by, but they're on like little electric bikes. Ooh, I gotta go see what those are. They're like tight, almost look like little motorcycles, but they're electric. Weird. This is this turned into an electric community. Electricity. There's a, there's a gym too right there also. Got an assortment of tennis courts. If I start playing tennis again, which I said I was going to do a while back, haven't done it. Also done a few food reviews right over here at this table. Yeah, there's a few few tennis courts over here. I don't know if this town has jumped on the craze of pickleball yet. 
but pickleball has like taken over. I'm really kind of shocked it hasn't become a pickleball community yet. I kind of perceive, I'm gonna put that out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is gonna be a pickleball community soon because that thing is sweeping the nation like, like a crazy. So I love this little information board of things that are happening. This is over here in the kind of the residential area. There's a, quite a few pools in town and I am gonna be doing a lot of swimming coming up in the summer. Hopefully I could get on that train of like dropping a few pounds and getting where I don't look so horrible in a bathing suit. I think there's other people that are probably on par with that as well. Also got the celebration news. So the residents only, you have access to this pool, playground areas, there's an assortment of different pools around, the tennis courts, and your own little parking area over here. This is right off Market Street, over where, I, where I used to live. So I could cruise over here to this pool in one of the electric vehicles. You can see there's a couple more right there that are workers. Mine's parked over there in that spot. But yeah, you could just drive it over, hit the pool for a little bit, do a few laps, wait a little bit, and then go back to the little vehicle and head home. At this point, it's fairly obvious that Howard the Decoy Duck is not going to make an appearance back where he was right there on that pole. It was a decoy duck that was not a real duck that I think was on top of a, a sewage pipe or some sort of some sort of pipe, melanoma carcinoma, some kind of a noma. As Fletch would say, Fletch F. Fletch. Hey, it's better than Irwin. So now, Howard has converted into a PVC pipe. Oh yeah, I gotta share the name of the, the new electric vehicle. Mini Marge. Not Large Marge. Not Small Marge. Mini Marge. Because it's a smaller vehicle, in honor of my former RV that was named Large Marge, I had the license plate on the front. I still have the license plate now in my nerdy room, the new homestead. And in honor of that, because I got a new vehicle, small little tiny vehicle, just for the just for celebration and the surrounding areas. Mostly celebration. Not sure if I can go elsewhere with it. Mostly here in town. Mini Marge. And I'm gonna customize it a little bit. I might put a couple little things on it, and I might put something designating it that it is Mini Marge, M-I-N-I -I Marge. Christening it, if I had a big wine bottle, just right over the side of it, but that would probably damage it because it's not like a boat where it's constructed in the point that you're supposed to be smashing a, wa a wine bottle over the side. But let this day designate the fact that Mini Marge has taken its maiden voyage, only had 11 miles on it. When I get back home, I'm gonna check and see how many miles, I'm also gonna show how you plug it in and charge it up. Mini Marge is in full effect, and Howard the Decoy Duck erased from existence. Got the fountain there, fountaining. I'm also going to be excited when they take down the decor, all the decor, and I'll be able to drive down Market Street, which would be pretty awesome. It should be soon. Yeah, I'm curious. I take it on the golf court, probably on the on the golf cart crossover. I mean, that says golf cart crossing. Probably have to be a member of the club to drive through there. Even though there is plenty of room to drive on it. It could be like a shortcut. I'll research that a little bit more. I'm walking now, I parked it up here. But as I'm speaking, here comes another gem going by as well. That might have been the one that was by the clubhouse. It's like one of those things, whenever you get something, you just see how many others have them as well. I don't think there's a lot of people in town that have them, but there are some. All right, here's a appropriate sign that I was kind of looking for to explain how the vehicles are, are here in town. NEV, Neighborhood Electric Vehicle. That's an, an artistic representation of me and mine. A NEV, a Neighborhood Electric Vehicle. This is a neighborhood electric vehicle community. Neighborhood electric vehicles are permitted on all residential streets. Love it. And I'm certainly gonna get my money's worth out of this thing over the tenure of its lifespan and me being here. It's a good investment. This thing's gonna get utilized all the time. Also, 
anytime I go out to eat in town, whether it includes down on Market Street or over here in this little area, I will be taking this. This is known as the Shops at Celebration Place. So Buca de Beppo, Five Guys, a Roundabout, there's a Dunkin'. In fact, I'm gonna go over here to Walgreens and get a few items. Purchased a few items and what I did is, so I put them in here in this little barrel, the little, the little pull down basket, basically like a makeshift trunk, if you will. But I went ahead and tied the bags up. I think it'd be better so this stuff doesn't slosh and uh, go all around, but locking it in and gonna keep cruising around. Got my first errand run in the new gym. I'm waiting at the light here at Celebration Place. I'm gonna keep going straight, but if I was to take a right here, now I've heard a rumor that you can go, even though you can't drive on a road that's 40, posted 40 miles an hour or over, which Highway 192 would be a road I could not take this on legally, but I have heard that you can cross over a road that is marked that. So if I wanted to go to the other side to where like Kobe Steakhouse is and Wendy's and Ponderosa, I think Ponderosa Steakhouse, Ponderosa, one of them. I think there's a steakhouse over there. But all those areas, if I could cross over the road 192, that could open up a whole other can of worms. There it is, the first edition for customizing this thing. Right there on the back. I just love that there is a Wisteria Lane. So Wisteria Court turns into Wisteria Lane. <laughs> Here in town. Ah, yes. East Lawn. The Beverly Hills ish area of town. There's also a lot of bike trails, and I'm going to start, start taking my bike out. I still have my bike that you can't take this on. There's a lot of bike trails. I mean, just miles and miles bike trails through here that I'm gonna be utilizing as well. All right, gonna start heading home. That's gonna do it for today. I have purchased something that I've wanted for a while. And with the recent move into my, my new homestead with the garage, this just makes total sense right here. The gym, I'm gonna probably customize it out mini marge in full effect not large marge but a smaller version a little nod not only to pb's big adventure pb herman paul rubens recently passed but also named my rv my mobile vehicle that i used to have mobile home i should say for a little while years ago they had named it that so this just makes sense to call this mini marge thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video the vlog is over. Got the charging station. Good to go, all plugged in right there. And it appears as if when doing that, those lights are indicating as well. So I pretty much burned four fifths of the battery, if you will. Not sure what those numbers mean, but it appears to be charging. When I unplug it, the lights come off of here. I put about 25 miles on it today. As shown there, 36 started off at 11. Yeah, 25 miles.